Welcome back to the channel, everyone. The Santa Maria here, and today we are going to play in some fragrance samples. And the fun thing about these are all of them are designer fragrances. So meaning designers, brands you know, think YSL, think Dior, those type of things. And these are all readily accessible, so these aren't hard to find. But what's cool is I receive samples all the time in different orders and things. So it's always good to play in them because sometimes you can find a gem in one of those random samples you get. I have about, let's see here, one, two, three, four. I have five fragrances that we're going to play in. Five fragrances, three brands, and I think we should have a good time. But before we do that, elves, you know what we must do first. Lipstick of the day, everyone. <sighs> this was such a beautiful gem. ABH, get back to your roots. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is the shade Madison. It's a liquid lipstick. Else, let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll have it listed just in case you all have it and just need to dig it out of your vault. Next up, we have Fragrance of the Day, everyone. Fragrance of the Day. I was craving this scent. This one was that girl. She kind of really still is that girl because everybody keeps biting off of her, and I'm talking about none other than Valentino's Donna Born in Roma. As you all know, this is a hype fragrance i did a full dedicated review and yeah spoiler alert she is worth the hype she's that good and it's finally season for valentino's down of morning roma so we are wearing her it'll be linked in the description box below as always so now let's play in some designer fragrances so, okay let's start things out with the one that is the newest in the group and this is one that i've touched on before but since i have a full sample of it i want to talk about it and this is the new J'adore from Dior and this is their Parfum Du. It's an older parfum concentration. Now what's special about this fragrance and I will insert a picture of it here in the video so you all can see is that it's alcohol free. So that's what makes this one very unique. And the good thing about these little cards is that they have information in here. It says the pleasure of wearing the J'adore flowers right on the skin. A concentrate of flowers and water in an innovative alcohol-free formula exclusive to Dior. Okay then. The orange blossom water of the Valaris lends all its freshness to J'adore heart of white flowers. The solar notes of jasmine sandbag commingle with the velvety notes of magnolia from China. Spray in a generous mist. Okay then. So this is supposed to be amazing and nice. And a white flower balm. We have our sample test strips. And yeah, let's play in this. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> this smells like luxurious creamy lotion. That's what this smells like. I still get a hint of the traditional J'adore DNA from Dior. If you've been a J'adore person, you know what I mean. I used to have a full big size bottle that I used up. I used a whole big bottle of back in the day. So I do, I do still smell the DNA. But honestly, this is so light. And I mean, the bottle is befitting because it's a milky, creamy type of a fragrance and it smells like lotion. So personally, this to me is for the person that likes your door, but you want to wear it to bed without choking. That's what this is for. This is a bedroom scent. It's not strong at all. So I'm glad I sampled it. This is new for 2022, came out for fall. But this is definitely a precious scent, a delicate scent that if you like J'adore, you might want it just if you're a collector. But personally, if you're looking for longevity, I have to put my nose all up on this thing. This isn't going to last long. I'm sorry. It's not going to be it. So for me, I do not need a full bottle of this. J'adore, Parfum d'Or, mm-mm. No, I don't like it. The next fragrance we're going to talk about is from Chloe. And I've seen this bottle. This is a fragrance that has been around for years at this point, if I'm not mistaken. When I looked it up, yeah, 2008. It's been around for a minute. So this is one of those I've seen it in Sephora. You know, we walked by shopping, but I've never smelled it. Or if I have, I don't remember. It's been years at this point. So I'm glad that I have a sample of Chloe Eau de Parfum. So yeah, let's see what it's talking about and play in it. So for reference, the notes in Chloe Eau de Parfum, let's see here. We have Peony, Lychee, Freesia. Hmm, I like those notes. Then we have Rose, Lily of the Valley, and Magnolia. And then base notes, we have Virginia, Cedar, and Amber. Honestly, based off of note composition, this sounds extremely, this sounds very promising. So let's see what happens. Hmm, okay. This smells like a classy lady. 
This is a signature scent. This is for the girly girls, the pretty girls. You feel very dainty. This is that. This actually takes me back to college. It's kind of very much a sorority girl scent in my opinion, if that makes any kind of sense. Like I'm really thinking Elle Woods in my head from the movie Legally Blonde. And I mean, I am a sorority girl. I was a sorority girl for life, a sorority girl. So yeah, th this takes me to sorority life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's cute. It's a little lighter for my opinion to be an EDP. I would expect this to be a little stronger, but this is pretty. This is one I actually wouldn't mind playing with a little bit more because she's cute and it's giving more so a springtime sorority girl house. That's what this is smelling like. Okay, a Chloe Eau de Parfum. I see why you've been around because this is an easy reach, pretty girl type of scent. I like it. Okay, y'all, this is one I have tested and tested again and in the past, I haven't been as moved by it, but today we have a sample of it and we're going to play in it. <laughs> okay, the dogs are cutting up outside. Okay, so we have a sample of the original YSL Lieb, the Eau de Parfum. All right, y'all, let's see what happens. All right, you all, for reference, let's see here. Notes for original Lieb are... Lavender, mandarin, orange, black currant, pettigrain. Then we have some lavender, orange blossom, jasmine. And then base we have Madagascar, vanilla, musk, cedar, and ambergris. That was the thing about this scent. When it came out, it was meant to be a feminine lavender scent. I remember all of the buzz and hype around it. The bottle is everything, but let's talk about the scent now. Let's see if I change my mind. <laughs> This is an orange blossom bomb, is what this is. Mm. Yes, this is the Lieb. Yes, this is the, the Lieb I have smelled a million times. Hmm. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Well, I've never hated it, but hmm. It's cute. Mm. Mm. It's okay. I definitely get more of the orange blossom to my nose right now, which is interesting because I used to get more of the lavender mixed in, which I wasn't quite sure about it, but hmm, I like this. But I will say this is only decent, but the fact that I know that YSL Libre Le Parfum exists, I can't buy a full bottle of the original because I know the Le Parfum exists. I, mm -mm. Nope, nope. This is cute. Yeah, this is cute, and I understand why people like it if you are an orange blossom lover, but it was worth waiting for the Le Parfum, and I'm still going to stand on it. So, is this nice? Yes. But it's the thing of when you know better, you do better. It's one of those type of fragrances. So, yeah. I will not be getting a full bottle of the original YSL Lieb, the EDP. Okay, this next one, you all... This one takes me back, and to have a sample of it, I'm actually really excited because... I used to wear this fragrance so much when I was like 19, 20 years old. And the fragrance that I have a sample of is original Marc Jacobs Daisy. Honey, this, this scent is a legend. It came out in 2007, which <laughs> that fall I went to college. So that's why this scent is a legend for me. If you was in school during this time, honey, you smell Daisy or you had a bottle of Daisy. Probably both. <laughs> so for the sake of just being more mature with our fragrance journey let's read the notes because i've never known the notes so we have let's see here violet leaf blood grapefruit and strawberry we have middle notes of violet gardenia jasmine then base notes are musk white woods and vanilla interesting never known the notes oh and the perfume is alberto moriles which i love his brand amazing sear and he also made another one of my absolute all-time favorite fragrances, which is Bulgari Omnia Crystalline. I've talked about that. He made that too. Okay, I love him. I need more Amazing Seer fragrances at this point in my life. Yeah. So now back to Mark Jacobs Daisy. Let's 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 meet our old friend. Let's let's see what our old friend is talking about. <laughs> hey girl, this is like a college reunion right now. Mm. <sighs> oh, I love this scent. <laughs> Mmm. Oh man, it's so many memories attached to this scent. I still love it. I still love this scent 10 years later. Oh man. Mmm. This is still good. This is still good. 
<sighs> okay, y'all. This is a yes. You know what? If I end up with a bottle of Daisy in 2023, y'all know why. Because this is just amazing still to this day. This is what you call just good, straight up, honest perfumery that can stand the test of time. This is a fragrance I could truly see having a renaissance again for us, like for the younger girls getting into it, the Gen Zers. I can see them loving this still just as much as we did the millennial girls in our day. I love this. I will still get a full bottle of this to this day and I can't tell you how many bottles of Daisy I bought. So this is an absolute yes for me everything martin jacobs daisy so the last one we're staying in the mark jacobs family you all now this one came out not too long ago if i'm not mistaken and this is the mark jacobs oh so intense version that i was gifted a sample of let me get into the notes to make sure i am correct about its information yes this is the latest daisy to come out this is mark jacobs oh so intense i remember seeing this one floating around but it didn't get too much buzz on youtube more so saw it like in department stores but i'm intrigued and they have some information on this oh it's still made by alberto morelas which is good i like when you keep the same perfumer that helps and i love him so let's see on the information card they have in here an intense interpretation of the classic daisy fragrance sparkling burst of strawberry and pear reveal a sweet honey heart soft vanilla balanced by a crisp green moss envelops you in a truly unique addictive blend okay that's a lot and i'm ready to get my entire life so let's see what this new version of daisy is giving The strawberry is so much more prominent in here. Ooh. Yeah. This is really good. And I can tell Alberto Marilas made this. You all. Huh. Y'all, this, I, oh my goodness, this smells definitely like a cousin to Amazing Sears For Your Love, which is made by the same perfumer, Roberto Maria, as I was just talking about. Wow, but just the strawberry is way more forward in here. Okay, this is so slept on. This is fantastic. Come this is full bottle worthy okay the original daisy takes me back to school but this new intense version i need a bottle i need it i need it see this is why we do first impressions and play in our samples because i've been sitting on this sample for three months never touched it pulled it out for this video wow oh i will be wearing this Oh, wow. Okay, y'all. I'm really having a moment. This is good. This is really good. Daisy, Mark Jacobs, the oh so intense, you all. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. I'm shook. This is so good. Oh, my goodness. All right, elves. That wraps up this edition of fragrances I'm currently sampling. And are these full bottle worthy? All in all, hands down out of all of these five fragrances i just did the one i'm like absolutely yes i need it right now is the mark jacobs oh so intense just wow this was not supposed to be this good but nothing was just totally totally bad but now yeah again oh so intense i'm still stuck on this one so i think this is fantastic elves do you own any of the fragrances i just talked about have you smelled any of the fragrances i just talked about let me know in the comments below so we can have a whole dialogue about it are you digging these fragrances do you hate them y'all please get your nose on this new daisy this oh so intense oh wow okay until next time elves i'll catch y'all next video bye y'all